Hello once again everyone, and welcome to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bob, episode 30 something or other. Today's episode, I've started off by doing a tiny bit of tidying up before I sort of really got started properly. Now I'm off to start setting up some more of my stations as proper LTN stations. So at the moment I'm bimbling gradually over towards the um, the Rubite mine at the far end of the base. And then I'm going to uh, so I'm going to get that set up, and then I'm going to run around and do a couple more of them as well, because I think I think I've probably got my design set up well enough that I'm prepared to trust it, should we say? Um, and we'll see. So we'll see how it goes. I've got the um, right type of station. Is that the right type of station? Yes, that's a loading. Put that. Get rid of that first. Oh, there we go. That's fairly straightforward. Once the um, train stop is placed, I can then program it up to be delivering the right sort of things. Although I think as a source station doesn't actually matter. I need that there and I need to link it as well. Go. Yeah, so because it's a source station it doesn't matter what it's delivering because it can it can tell from what's available in the station. I just need to say when it's able to offload a train's worth. And there we go, it is there already. Okay, that was easy. Now we have the long drive back to the main part of the base where I'll set up the other part of the station. I'm not going to do the gas station down here even though it's um is one of my is a station because it's running liquid it's liquids for one thing and it's going to be under m a more constant demand I think at least if everything so far is anything to go by. So I want it I want the trains to be constantly running for that one. And that's why I'm for at least a little while going to leave the uh, Sapphire station alone as well because I don't want to find them just randomly running out of stuff. So come along here. The Bob Monium one can be up, uh, updated as well. But this is an unloading station, so it needs to be separate. Not that one. Maybe that one? I can't tell. Yes, that's an unloading station. And it would go... Um, it's hard to tell. Yes, it must be there. <laughs> it occurs to me, I bet I've forgotten to change... Yes, I have forgotten to change the name of this one. So it's still called I Like Trains, which isn't great. Uh, this should be... Although, I don't think it matters so much what they're called anymore, because the trains will just be dispatched to them automatically. It's only if I want to be able to find them that I need to know what they're... What, what they, <laughs> I've run out of mini power, uh, medium power poles. Okay, that's that one. I know it isn't. I need to tell this one what to order. Where's its... What? Combinator? I don't seem to have one on this one. That's odd. No, I don't. Let's put one in then. And I can't remember how to program this, so I'm going to copy it from over here. And then, not plastic, should... Be that one, Bob Monia more, and it'd be minus 20k. So at the moment that still says 56k, so that's fine. It's got plenty in there. It can keep working on that for, for ages. At some point, this train is going to need to go to the depot, and then it'll become another automated train. Good, let's go on. Ah, we left all these pipes here. Yes, I know it was me, but you know, I can still complain about them, right? Are they all water? No, they're different types of water. Oh, yeah, this is when I decided it'd be. A good idea to set up some sort of liquid bus up here and then very much half assed it. I'm going to do this from a paste just to get all the wires in along the chests first. Uh, that, yes, I believe that's where. Well. Then I'll swap this over manually. There we go. It's <laughs> thousand and Jeeva light, isn't it? Uh, Jeeva light four then? Yes. Was it empty? I hope it was. Oh, I've not got radar down there yet. Uh, let's do that because I want to be able to keep an eye on the trains down here, basically. Um, now, the best place for a radar is obviously as far away from all the other ones as possible, so I get the maximum cover, put it there. The nearest power is over here at the bus. Okay, let's do that then. Power. Ooh, there we go. That train is not empty. That needs to go to um, Jeeva Light Drop, which I don't have at the moment. Why did it even move? I'm not quite sure. Right. Yeah, because if, if I don't make sure the trains get emptied properly, then they'll end up taking random supplies, to random resources to random places, and that's just going to cause endless headaches trying to clean it up. Uh, I think there is a way to, to tell the trains to go somewhere to dump any junk they've got left in them, which you can then sort out, worry about manually, deal with later, whatever you want. Uh, but I haven't set that up. Not for any particularly good reason, mostly sort of laziness, but we'll see how it goes, and then when it all goes horribly wrong, I'll um, no doubt fix it. Of course, the ideal thing to do here... Oh, it's on both sides. <laughs> um, okay, that needs linking up the frost as well. And I need more red wires, which are... Oh, they're miles away. <laughs> Let's take the other car. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Where's that? Okay, it's quite close by. What weaponry do I have? Do I have got... 
Okay, I've got some turrets with me. That's good. I've not got any inserters. That's less good. Are they just going to rampage up the wall, destroying everything? Yes, they are. Oh, dear. There's going to be some friendly fire in here from this, but there we go. Is that... Are we safe again? No. This is probably going to go horribly wrong. Oop. Yep, one of those has got the homing things. <laughs> okay, looks like we have a new front line to worry about. Let's go and get that fixed up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, they um, might have got a little bit carried away there with the, the friendly fire from the plasma turret. But to be fair, it was very effective. It mostly it only cost me some walls and some belts, um, both of which are fairly cheap. The turrets were already getting wrecked by the biters as they came down there. I guess I've been being a bit complacent with the um, biter attacks and the defences and stuff recently. These are all, if you look at this, these, this defensive wall down here, these are all sort of Mark 1 defences, as it were. They're just single, presumably machine gun turrets. They're not even sniper turrets turrets along here so we definitely need to beef this up a bit it's just lucky i was nearby when it happened right so these are all yes these are all just basic gun turrets so i should probably trundle back up here again which side of the okay the sniper turrets are the more northerly ones and just add in the better turrets all the way up shows how quiet it's been up here actually most of these turrets in fact, all the ones that didn't do anything in that last attack are all still using yellow ammunition that's terrible <laughs> no wonder they um got steamrolled like that Okay, so all my trains have got messed up by me messing around with the stations here. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate. Let's just correct these. Why are these going straight through? Just go there. Right, okay, that's kind of work. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was trying to finish off the sapphirite drop point, wasn't I? Because these all need to be linked up. Um, I honestly can't tell what I've linked up and what I haven't now. Um, yeah, there's definitely one going down there. 151, that sounds about right, I guess. And then up here, I need to bring this along like that. And this is sapphirite or minus 20,000. Well, 60,000 in there, I think that's probably all right. So we've now got a total of 91,000 in there. So once this train's emptied, oh, the trains aren't balanced, great. Why is more, why not? It should be. Hmm. And this is all supposed to be perfectly balanced. So why are some of these emptying faster than others? Basically what I'm asking is why is this chest half empty when everything else is full? I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to know. I mean, well, okay, now take that back. I kind of do want to know, but I'm also kind of worried as well. Hmm. I don't know what I can do at the best at this point, so I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of prevarication and procrastination to help sort things out, right? No, wrong way. That's an unloading. Oh, I spotted it with a capital P. <laughs> okay, let's edit that to keep keep it consistent. However, once you're finished here, you can also go to the depot. I hope the depot isn't full yet. I've got one, two, three left. One, two, three. Okay, the depot is now officially full. But otherwise, I believe this is now finished. And oh no, 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 no. Need to update that as a two by two drop. Okay, that's the stations in this area finished. Now I need to drive way up north and sort out the mines as well. It's a bit of a shame. I've been able to ignore the mines for quite a long time. It's been, uh, I've not had to go up this way. Still, nothing like a road trip, eh? I'll only do two of the mines up here. Oh, you know what I should have been doing, of course? I should have been travelling by train, using the train to get around. Since everywhere I've been going to has, by definition, been a station, it would have been much quicker to go by train rather than with the crawler. I could even have used a construction... I could even build a construction train, but I didn't really think of it at the right... Oh, not again. Where are they taking this time? Oh, it's the wrong side. Right, do this manually. What? Oh, I must have let one... Oh, dip... Ah! <laughs> and other frustrated sounds. <laughs> Yes, I've got some turrets. I can probably deal with that. Oh, stop eating my stuff. Getting down there as quickly as I can. Oh, yeesh. Um, fortunately, it didn't get onto the expensive stuff. It spent, fortunately, spent most of its time, <clears throat> most of its time eating up the uh, belts, and they're cheap and easy to replace. So, yeah, that could have been a lot worse. If I'd been any longer getting down there, it would have got the um, one of these sorters as well. And I don't have as many. I don't have any of those in my pockets, so that would have been significantly more annoying. <sighs> right. Where was I? Before I was so rudely interrupted. Let's see. So, okay, so the train's coming in downwards. Two and two, so that goes there. And it there. No, that's wrong. It's a supply station, not a drop off station. So I need to copy this one. I said I need this one. All right, that up here. Okay, good. And these, these are the easy ones as well. You've got, you've got, oh, yes, this is Bob Moon. Okay, cool. That's that one done. As I say, I'm not doing this one at the moment because I just want that to run flat out because of the amount of oil I'm getting through. Oh, for goodness sake. And now there's a Jeeva light mine over here somewhere. And I believe that's the final LTN. Oop, right. That's the final LTN 
station I need to fit now for retrofitting everything I've got so far. Once that's done, they'll all be configured, and it's just a case of plopping down more request to stations, and they'll automatically get their demands fulfilled, I hope. It's a theory, anyway. See how it goes. Just as soon as something actually runs out of something. Is this the right way around for me to paste? Yes. Is it? Oop. I didn't rename the other station, did I? No. Right. Okay. I think that's done now. Let's see, so I've done that one. Oh, coal. I could do coal. I don't know. Yeah, let's do coal as well. I'll probably do sapphire at some point as well, because once I switch over to the new system... Perhaps, is it worth doing those while I'm up? Probably is, if I'm being honest. It's the wrong way around. <laughs> is that coal's train still going to run? Yes, that's... So, the stations may be automated for LTN, but they will still run as normal if, for whatever reason, the train isn't set up properly to do so. Let's tell this one to not go there, but to go to the depot. This will be one to test with, I guess. Um, so if I go back down... Yeah, well, I'll, what I'm going to do... I'm going to leave the um, Sapphire stations for now, just in case I do get back to the point where I am getting through that much iron. And also because the way it's set up at the moment, there isn't actually room in the depot for all of the trains I've made. So if I do send them all there. It's going to cause it's going to cause problems somewhere along the lines. Oh, for goodness sake, why does it not fit through that gap? Um, it's going to cause problems somewhere along the lines if I don't um, leave the iron running as it is, because there's too many trains, so they'll get they'll get clogged up somewhere. I'll come back and do them in a bit. Did I miss that? I did. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's try and do, try that again, but with less fail. Yeah, must be there. Oh, fiddly fiddly. What train is that? Oh, okay, that is this one, I think. Yeah, cold drop and then go to the depot. Okay, and then I need the settings for a drop-off station, which I should hear. I'm just hoping... Good. I was slightly worried then that I might have accidentally dispatched a train, a train to the Rubite station to pick up. Uh, that would have been unfortunate, because <laughs> I don't want it bringing Rubite here. Okay, so here we've got 56,000 coal after subtracting the 20,000, and then another 1,500 here. And again, this one isn't balanced either. And I don't know why not, because this should um there's a little bit in fact if anything this top one should have less because there's a little bit being sifted off for this but oh i understand why it's not balanced this is probably going to come back to haunt me at some point and i'm going to need to do a load of faffing around to try and get my um train unloadery system balanced up properly <clears throat> maybe for any new ones i build i'll stick in a warehouse on each each carriage and then just balance them with inserts passing back and forth between them i don't know okay still that's now done as far as the basics go. So I think I'm now done with LTN, at least for the time being, until I find something doesn't work and I have to go through and reprogram stuff. That's That should be um, all done and working. And it's only taken me half the last episode and 45 minutes of this one. Actually, that's not quite fair. I spent some of that time running around fighting, um, fighting the fighters who are breaking through my wall. Okay, so now that's done, the next thing on the list is sorting out a system to produce iron a bit more efficiently and more complicatedly. That's going to be my um, plan for, well, this episode, probably the next episode. I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take, because this is going to be this is going to be like building up all of the um, the plastic refining you know, all over again, I suspect. So it's gonna take me a little while to do. But hopefully once it's finished, it'll be nice and satisfying and everything will work like a dream or like some sort of weird dream where I don't know, where you ate too much cheese the night before or something. Right, so I'm going to start this about here. Let's put the stations in here. Let's take a big chunk out of this belt so that the railway lines can get through, and then we'll replace it again later. So that can come through like that, and then we'll have one well, be a bit neater with these curves. Like that. How big is the train? Yeah, that's big enough. Let's go a bit further, actually, so we're not interfering too much with that other junction. And come over here. I'll finish that off in a moment. And I'm going to have another train unloading. And because I've arbitrarily decided that I'm going to use um, warehouses from now on. It's going to be a rather it's going to be a rather bigger train unloading place than we used to. But that's fine, I think. An unloading station will look something like this. Put them about in the middle, because then if I ever want to make the trains longer, I probably can. Uh, but get rid of all of that, because I've decided not to them. Why is there a... Oh, I know where there's a pub. I think I've left rather more space than is strictly necessary here, if we're being honest. Oh god, by now. Okay. Uh, that's going quite badly for those things. Uh, where's my car? Where's my car? Where's my car? I'm going to need to pick up some more laser turrets, I think, uh, which will come from over here somewhere. I don't mean laser, I mean plasma. Um, those ones, yes. The biggest worry about this sort of thing is that they might have... Okay, this is alright. 
Um, I was going to say they might have actually got through the walls and carried on and just got lost somewhere in the wilderness of my um, claimed claimed but not really defended territory. And I've run out of those grabbers. It's all right. I've got enough. I've got the materials to build more. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because if they get if they get through and they sort of just keep going up into the the wilderness, now I'm probably going to be all right because I've got the radar around here and I can so I'll be able to track them down and, and find out where they went and and try and chase them down and exterminate them. But that might be quite difficult and dangerous because they're the sort of biters I'm getting at the moment are definitely outclassing my handheld weaponry. Right, there we go. Apparently I didn't put the wall in down here. That's a bit of a mistake. There we go. Right. I do wonder if I should be going along here and putting in enough plasma turrets to defend the entire wall. But at the moment, plasma turrets are still kind of expensive, so I'm trying to avoid using too many of them. I'm just putting them in kind of where they're needed, where I actually, where I'm actually seeing the attacks, rather than scatter, rather than putting them all the way along the walls like the uh, like that, like I'm doing with the bullet turrets. It's the is it the plastic that's I'm not even quite sure what it is that I'm finding expensive about them at the moment. Um, but it does seem. I mean, you saw that, and I went up there, and there were four finished. That's not a huge number. It's not going to really allow me to go along and build up entire turret walls. So, yeah, it's annoying when the attacks happen, and I have to drop everything and rush out and save them. But on the flip side, it's manageable, and it means I haven't expended all of my resources in, in dealing with them, we say. Now, how are we doing? Okay, we've run out of rail. That's not enormously unexpected, but mildly annoying. Uh, why do I pick? Why do I pick up reds? Let's not do the yellow here. Okay, so I'm going to need to go back and get some more rail. Um, no sapphire. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> That's supposed to be sapphire. I don't want whatever that was. Um, Bobmonium turning up here. In fact, how do I? find that train and tell it not to. No, go to depot. In fact, that's going to have stuff in it now, isn't it? <laughs> How do I... What? I've told it to just go to the depot. Hopefully that'll sit it there for the time being. Yeah. Right, so that's got Bobmonium in it. So you need to go to Bobmonium Drop and get rid of that. Except it can't because it's full. Don't call this Bobmonium Drop. No. Ah. Uh, oh, for goodness. No. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. So I obviously need to create... I need to clear these combinators before they just start ordering massive quantities of stuff. Uh, so basically before I hook them up. Right, this is problematic because I now have those two trains. I mean, at least on the plus side, it shows that the system works. On the less plus side, I've got a lot of Bobmonium that I just... I just don't know what to do with now because it's in the wrong place. It's in a train when it shouldn't be. So, yeah, let's go and pull up that train as well. I'm going to have enormous quantities of bobmonium in my pockets, but I don't see what else I can realistically do at this point. <laughs> um, great. <laughs> okay. I should probably make a blueprint of a station that doesn't isn't requesting stuff and then use that to place these stations. Let's do that. No, those are stacked dirt. This one, this should be. Okay, now I just have to remember to use that rather than just copying and pasting because it seems easier. And set this back to the Jeeva light. Okay, and breathe. Oh, and I should name this, please. As you might have noticed, I've actually sorted, I've, I've installed a mod now that sorts my inventory so I can actually have a hope and hell of finding stuff in this, um, in the construction vehicle. So it's now putting everything together in a, a reasonably sensible order and it makes it a lot easier to, you know, just glance at it and go, ah, yes, there's the thing that I want. Aha! And here is an automatic Jeevalite train, which I actually do want. Shock horror. There we go. So the system is working. I said, hey, I need some Jeevalite. And bang, train went to go and get some for me. That's excellent. Oh, I'll put that in the wrong place. There we go. These are stack inserters, aren't they? Yes, they must be, because it says 15. They're still not quite as stacky as I'm used to, but they'll do. Right, I feel like I've... <laughs> I feel exhausted from that. That's been a bit ridiculous, having to faff around with those trains like that. But, uh, okay, so this is now... This means I've got the first two raw materials I need for this. I'm going to now have a quick run through um, FNEI to check out the recipes that I'm planning to do. So iron plate, for now, is going to come from molten iron, which comes from iron ingots, which comes from, no, not that one, ingots. So I need limestone and coke. Now, coke comes from coal. Limestone comes from 
up here somewhere. So I'm going to need to start shipping limestone from here or making large quantities of limestone somewhere else. That's the other possibility. I could set up another one of these washing chains somewhere that's on the train network because I can't get a train into there very easily. Actually, I suppose I could. I could bring this line all the way around down here. And perhaps even down join it onto here over the, over this lake. That might be quite that might be worthwhile actually. It's a sizable job at this point, um, and it would use an enormous quantity of landfill. But landfill's cheap, so that's not an issue. Um, and the other alternative would be to extend out to here and then come down across this bit. That might make oh no, that comes get in, some, in the way of this area. Yeah, maybe I'll just build a straight line up from there um, ish and a turning area here, and one up from here. It's not a bad idea. Doing a lot of yak shaving here, can you tell? Um, yeah, so I need to get limestone down. I don't know if that's going to be producing limestone quickly enough. Also, it's not this I want. This is something lime. It's this problem with this one, the one that comes out of this middle washing machine, not the blast furnace. Um, and I don't have an easy way to. Well, I mean, I could pull that out with some belt shenanigans. But mm, I think it's going to be easier to build this again. Although, mm, yeah, I could build a little limestone creating plant over here or something. Or limestone and the other things. But then when I've already got it here, it seems a bit of a bit of a waste. Although all I'm really using this for is mud production, which it has caught up with, happily. Yeah, maybe I could pull all of these out northwards, run them across here, and have some sort of set of stations here to get them to get the ones that I need when I need them. Yeah, let's do let's do that. It'll be it'll be fun. Do I have any rail myself? Yes, I've got a bit. <laughs> Not enough to finish this off though. Okay, so I'm gonna need all of that. And this time I actually do just want a small piece. And then we'll need to have... I don't know what shape a, a curve in rail forms. <laughs> I'm not even quite convinced that's the right uh, diameter of curve. I should have got more rail before I started this. <laughs> Someday I'll learn to plan ahead. I think I've said that before. It still hasn't happened. Here we go, here's all my train stuff. So some rails. I've got plenty of train bits to make my own trains. Uh, I don't think I need anything else from there. I do need more power poles. Let's get some more of those while, I'm, while we're looking at stuff. There they are. What? How do I end up with only 15? Oh, I'm out there. Let's try it again. No, I can't delete landfill once I've placed it. I didn't think I could. There we go. Um, I've left the car. Oh wait, there's another car in the um, construction vehicle. I don't... I went down... I'm sure I went down and I just grabbed all of the rail in that in that box. So unless there's only there was only 15 rail in there, which is I, mean, I suppose it's possible, but it shouldn't have been. There should have been hundreds. Why have you run out of st what on I I what? How was there a piece of belt missing from there? How could I have accidentally grab grabbed a piece of belt from there? That just doesn't make sense. Especially as there was some rail in here, but just very very little. <sighs> The levels of fail that I, I seem to be able to achieve astound me sometimes, they really do. Uh, what? Where the hell did that come from? I cleared this area, you saw me do it. I can't, surely I didn't, actually I suppose it is possible I missed them? I have only just slapped in a radar down there, so I might just simply have not realised they were there. But even so, I mean, how? Just, just how? <laughs> also, part two of the question, can I reach them with one of these? Yes, I can. There we go, that didn't go too badly. And hopefully now there'll be some... A decent number of railway lines built. And as I come along here, I can drop off all of this. We've got a lot of blue science now available. That's, come on, let's have a few hundred. 280. Hmm, we'll see. Might do. This bit is ridiculous to drive through. I should put some more landfill down. Right. One of them. Now, the other one is out here, apparently. Here we go, the second bridge. Oop. I should know better than to do that. I know I can't um, draw things in a drag them at the mouse in a straight line for more than a few squares. Uh, oh, bugger. Like I said, um, landfill goes down surprisingly quickly, even when you're making a relatively narrow bridge. I suspect I'm about to say the same is true for rail, because this is probably going to go down. This is going to be going down just as quickly. Well, a quarter as quick, but still too quick. <laughs> Where's that other line? There it is. Okay, this bit isn't going to be particularly exciting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an episode here. I'm going to finish off this railway line, so I'm going to link up this, these two lines here to these ones, these ones I'm building at the moment, and then down to this bit, so that trains can get round there easily. I'll probably then put in another 
couple of stations in this this green area here that are getting fed from probably well putting one that's being fed from here uh, from this from this limestone plant here and then probably another one that's being fed from this wood because I'll probably I may well want wood on the on the rail system at some point and yeah so those will get those will get linked up it'll be a system a lot like this one to be honest but in reverse for loading rather than unloading uh, they'll get them all linked up to LTN and that will get and then down here I might put in a third station I'll certainly finish off this rail probably put in a third station for unloading the limestone and I'll have a let's have a quick check to see if there's any other things I've missed so limestone coke comes from coal which is I think yes coal which is right there so that's fine iron pellet the press iron iron ore and only mineral catalyst so this is this is the thing I was debating whether to do straight away uh, because it requires the saff this requires the sapphire and the jeevalite that I've just brought in um, but it needs the mineral catalyst as well which needs the sludge which needs the cut filters and the idea and, and the thermal water so maybe I'll put in two more stations here so I've got the um, the limestone and the and the mineral water or the mineral sludge coming in so which way around we want to do that where we want to process that I don't think thermal water is used for anything else no it isn't it just no thermal water oh no it is used for quite a few things okay I might just pipe the thermal bring the thermal water up here by in another set of trains then um yeah but that could that'll be a pro that'll be for, for next time I think so for now I'm just going to finish off these these railway lines and the stations up at the top and then we'll carry on from here and I'll start building up the um, saffron new sapphire processing facilities well I don't know whether I've achieved very much today. I think I've got the um, I've got I've got LTN working, and I, I'm, I believe it is working now. Having seen having seen that Jeevalite train turn up in exactly the way it should have done, so I'm reasonably happy with that. But I'm going to so that that was an achievement, and I've I suppose I've improved my borders slightly because I've fought off a few biter invasions that were, who got inside them. Um, but yeah, the LTN was the main focus of that episode. And yeah, so the next one will be um, building up the iron production. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me for the next one.